Snorter. Thomas has laid a front snorter. There we are. And there's pinky underneath, slightly underneath. Yeah, played with a bit of weight, so here's Tom's first points of the game. Will he be able to pair up? The way he's been playing today, I'd fancy this ball to count too. Yes, I would agree with that, James. Now if he can just get round that short ball. Mm, no, may have gone one. out actually, yeah, it's just one to Tom there, so 1 5 the game. Is this a final already? I'm just waiting for the other two semi finalists. Yeah, we can we'll get an update with the bookie. Yeah. Richard, can we have a quick chat with you? The bookie's feeding his book. Let's what, see what the bookie's ended up with. Uh, Christ, semi final, Richard, mm -hmm. is it? That was a good moment. Total exposure, I don't know. Tom's short on the mark, by the way, back to the semi final. He's led just over the crown, he's counting with an 18 inch bowl, and John's just about four or five feet short. Such difficult marks to play when you haven't got the jack. Very difficult. Pinching marks, as they'd say, just niggling over the yeah. crown. Two footballs are usually hard to beat. Tom's destroyed many an opponent on this kind of mark this season. He won't find John an easy ride at all, but he'll be hoping to get a few chalks on this sort of distance. Okay. It's going to come short for me. Round the I think he's just pegging it's round the corner. Way. Might not have even saved. It doesn't. No, it's two to Tom. To so that's three now. five. Back to the bookies. He was getting us a bit of information there. Surprisingly, no one's back to Thomas. So, no money at all on the Shevsky. The local lad. You can just see at the top there, that's what Richard's exposure is. So we've got a, a massive favourite in Griff on the other semi-final, one to four, and an outsider, Danny, three to one against on the heat. Is that justified on the way he's been playing so far, Richard? No comment. <laughs> Here's Danny now. Just to, is he getting a quick look at the bucky? Yeah, I'll get the bucky. Oh, we're gonna no. get the bucky. Still not like bucky. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh... Oh yeah, here's the toss. Yeah, Liam, Liam, Liam concedes the jack because Danny's a high handicap. <laughs> so the semi, semi final. Liam's on a grumpy start from the off there as Danny leads out. Yeah, the featured game. 5-3 in favour of John. Oh yes, two cracking balls there from Chef. Yeah, this will level the game at five apiece if these live. Here comes John's second ball. He's still looking at Going across there. Oh, two to Thomas there. Take the score to five apiece. Five apiece. Thomas this year winning the South Leeds Classic. He's had a good season as Tom. And the British Parks Merit. He did. Yeah. Got himself into the Yorkshire ABA setup for yeah. the first time he's, in a while. He's back on the fringe of getting, a, getting a place in the county team again, and hopefully next season, 2013, we'll see him a, a regular in the Yorkshire side. Tom leads out at five apiece. <laughs> at least we'll know the score. First effort, no good, good hundred yard shot. I think he'll fancy a bit of a chance there now. Yeah, he's he's taking his chances, John, and he's uh, counting with a, a football at the back there. <laughs> the way Tom's been playing, he, he could well beat this. Over, yeah. he's just having a, a bit of a walk after this one. He's just outside and. And to big there, so at least one to John will he pair up for a two, I would imagine he will. As Liam sticks his feet in at the first end of the other semi. Yeah, Pinky just makes the two there for seven five. 
Liam just checking the distances with his feet. And Liam Chalks at the first end. So with Danny's two handicap, that's one two. One two at Liam. Pinky leads out from from Mark down to the steps. He's known to waft, is John. Yes. Likes a waft, and that one needed a bit more of a waft. It finished a yard or so short. No, Tom won't be happy with that. He should have stepped in there, but. Yeah. Here comes Pinky's second effort. Yeah, just making one. Still a couple of feet of room there for Tom to get one in. Just got to slip off the. Yeah, just makes one. Yeah. So we're now at 6-7 as Tom leads out. Back to our second semi over there. One to Liam to level at two apiece. That was a, an attempted strike there by Dan. Usually quite renowned for striking. Yes, we could see a lot of paint coming off these gutters today. But let's see. 6 7 in the featured game. Tom playing up to the pip. About two foot short. You can never tell the judgment of Stephen as he bowls with John's and down to a T. He's played a real one there. Green, yeah. not the third leg, but no. I'm sure if John counts here, he'll be going further in the kick. He will, he'll be extending the length up to his usual 50 60 metre mark. Four to strike at this one, not being nine six adrift. Turned his peg. He's, turned his peg. He's, he's coming finger. He's looking to draw one. He's looking to play an absolute perfect weight ball here. And it's just slipped underneath and it might not have even saved. <sighs> Ball removed as the 
a look to see if it's true. Might be a measuring job. Let's go back to the other game while they're considering that end. Definitely two. Danny's holding two here. And it was just one uh, to John there. 10 6 as we're going that, Liam in that game. Liam. Liam. David Gray. Possibly count. Here comes Liam's bowl. It looks an absolute smoker. Two. Yeah, and it's drawn one for Liam. So. Yeah. Tips the class there by Liam. Yeah. What have we got today, James? On that no, three apiece. Three apiece. Just another semi final. 10 6 the other game. As Pinky, as James quite rightly said, has led out full in. No surprise there. It's trapping well. It's going to be about the length, is that ball? Maybe, maybe, maybe slips a little bit by, but no disgrace for an opener into that territory. Here comes Tom. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Still a long way, it's a bit wet is that corner still, it takes some reaching. Chance for John. 10-6. Yep. Well this one doesn't look too over far but... Oh, I don't even think it's Ned. Uh, I wonder if someone will actually fire now while he's playing up. Ball will come into a shot in a second. There it is. He never looks a bit to back as well, is he? Yeah, that'll be another one. Maybe, maybe two to John. I'm not sure. No, just the one. Just the one. That could be eleven six. Oh well, that that certainly uh, surprised us. From this point, John looked to be about a yard over, but obviously. It was a lot further. And Tom's, <coughs> Tom's done that chalk to lead out 7 10 behind. Completely changing the um, dimension of the game for me. Absolutely changing it. Not opting for the piss and putting down an edge. No. Not seeing players match the day, but. No. First venture up the, up the side. Yes, he does. Walter. That's a that's a useful lead. That's a useful lead. That. I'll be looking to pair this up for me. And get back on terms. Only trailing seven ten. Very early days. Who's on this one? Tried and tested. Yeah, Tom's paired up there with a with a great ball. Ooh. Over the top. That's two to Thomas, and that's nine ten, I believe, on that game. Danny, yeah. There's a bit of weight there. <laughs> An observation from Satman there. Liam, Liam cruises in for two. Score five apiece. Five apiece in the Beardsley. Griffin game and nine ten in the other game. Tom just trailing by one against Pinky. That's correct. The other final started both the scratch. Yeah, both regular A teamers, John and Tom. But uh, Danny in the B team obviously gets his team in the chat. So there's Liam. He's just not in that count at the moment, holding in the game five of six. You might get a nice wig. Oh, he's got a lovely wig there. That just leaves him with a counting bowl.
up to this again. Something to roll straight to this corner just to the right of us. Do the same again. Yeah, difficult testing mark this on the thumb tag. Well, I don't think he reached, but these balls are very, very deceiving. Yeah, they're very good runners. If ever you've played him, you yeah, cannot he tell when they are going to stop and just look at that nestled in front of the in front of the jack, that short ball there. <laughs> Tom's already away with his. Somewhere near the road, Tom Lee. He's on a Somewhere road. Somewhere near the road. You've got the length of the field ahead. Well, that's a very good asset. That would win most ends, but obviously. Annoyingly, probably right on the road. Just a bit annoying. Probably blocking things up a little bit for him, but let's see what Pinky does with his second ball. Thirteen nine and eight five. As John and Liam lead out in the semi finals of the inaugural Pudsey Champions Trophy twenty twelve. We've got both jacks in the in the far corner. Both thrutches for me, a Liam Both and John. Both thrutched in. Right in. Liam probably more so than Pinky. Yeah, and well Danny's not reached there at all. No. No, he's struggling with his length a little bit, he's and if he doesn't get back in the game soon, he could find himself running out of time. Against Liam, Liam will capitalise on this. <laughs> Yeah, Liam's reached with his second, but he's not put it on a particularly good road, but he is counting two. Danny, Danny to reaches out. He's not too far to me by looking at this one. I don't think he's reached. No. I don't think he's reached, but we've been known to be wrong for well, the majority of the day. But on this occasion, <laughs> we are right, I'm sure. Danny stops in amazement to look. At, at, at his bowls, which are both finished short for him. Yeah. And it's nine, now nine five. Nine five to Liam. Back to the oh, and Tom has played one. We can't quite tell from our angle here in, in the uh, gantry, but. <laughs> Pinky's having a look. And from his body language, I think he's he he's got one. one. Yeah. yeah, I think he does. From Thomas's body language, I think that he doesn't like his. Correct. 
measure the measures are being curled. Yeah. Oh, flocking to the green, the measures. More measures than players. Back to the main game. Well, Liam has counted with worse down here today. Yeah, he has. Um, what can Danny do? Last time he came down here, he, he did miss the land. By somewhat. Quite badly. Um, but he's on a better track this time. I think Liam's trying to use his right hand versus the left hand. I think hand. he is. I think I uh, agree with you there, James. Danny is well known for walking after his balls. He is. Regardless. He likes to walk up to the head and have a look what's going on. Nothing wrong with that. No. <clears throat> Liam plods along. Plods along. Tends yeah. To put him very, very near. For me, I think six to one for Liam is a big price at the start of the day. Yeah. Liam's holding one, as far as we can tell. Danny likes the final bowl of the end go, and he is. Chasing after he likes this one. This ball somewhat, but now he he like, he's slowed down his gallop. I think it's just going to slip underneath. Is it going to slip? Yeah, yeah. Liam's just going to slip out the far side one to Liam. Score 10 5. 10 5 Griffin. Again, from Danny. Just getting a bit away from him now. He needs to score at the next end. Otherwise, he might find it a bit, a bit too much to come back. An update well, from the featured game. The featured game, I've lost track of the score a little bit. 14-9. 14-9 uh, to John. Holding one shot. John's led about a yard, a yard or so short. Holding a brace. Holding a pair here. It's a difficult mark this, it's not as easy as it looks just to bowl the ball into there. Oh, it's got to reach. There's a lot of slide off the, off the green. Well, For me he's trying. He's, he's just about reaching and he's bowled a, a very good bowl there. Ball, That's a very good bowl and he needed that one at that stage to keep in the game at 10-14. Uh, well, Danny looks to be good pressing. He's reached this corner. Yeah, this time. Danny's played up and reached and he's bowled a decent bowl. That's a, good, that's a good bowl. That's a good bowl. I think he's up. just he's got a few charts to play with as Liam and he's probably just thinking even if I miss this I'll be, I'll be back in the next end he's if he's oh, and he's hit a perfect strike there and he's uh, nullified the end so the score remains at 10-5 10 5. <clears throat> Quite surprising that Liam hit that, as it's not one of his strongest points. No, not, not renowned to be a striker is, uh, is Liam, but... And over such a long distance, that mm. is a superb hit. Good by anyone's standards, yeah. Now then, Tom leading out, shortened the mark down about 23 metres. He's played Just a yard over. Played a yard over, probably won't be too pleased with that one. Easier to take out than put in, as yeah. Alan Thompson always says. Correct. I think he's... Draw the end with a reasonable ball. Thomas will be looking to draw one as his second isn't good enough. Really yeah, he'll it. need to get something in here. He's yeah. after this one, he likes it. He needs, he needs some, some dribble. A ball there. Yes, he's played a real ball there as Tom. Holding one at the side at the moment. Waiting for John to come up. Always now in good position. John, John deliberating what's his best option here. Considering perhaps a strike, but his own other bowl is very near to the end. Electing to drive. Electing to drive. Perfect. In every way. Two to John. Well, look out. 16 10 to John. Back to the other game. Danny's playing down the hill. He chased that ball then. He obviously liked that one, but it's just drifted wide. Uh, it's, the, it's the old left right thing. I think. <coughs> 
Christian, the highest mark on the green wall, one of them, looked very, very easy. Yeah. Superb ball. Great ball coming in there from Liam. <coughs> that isn't. Liam, uh, Danny just asking how close the balls are to each other. Maybe electing to throw with a bit of weight here, do you think, James? Um, this time he's, he is punching it. And he's punching it very well. No, yeah. it's just missed. Unfortunate there for Dan. That makes it 12 5. 12 5. And his strike ratio on 25%. Oh dear. He's beaten a couple of really good players today. Um, good win against David Hillier. Yes. On to striking. Out of sight now is John. Yeah, John's just signaling another two there, stretching his advantage. 18 10. Very rare will John move from these sort of positions. Yeah, he's a, he's a good front runner, is John. Usually he gets that far in front and, and he can wave goodbye to the game. As Liam plays out into the far corner again. White puff of the cheeks on delivery. Yeah. And he's definitely reached. Looks to be a bit thin for me. Well, it's not a bad ball there for me. Been worse up to there today. <laughs> what can Danny do? Oh, he's a bit underneath his Dan, but his, his line is not bad to be fair. Probably holding shot. Possibly, now, possibly. And uh, I think he's led his usual 18 inch two foot ball. And he's again, Tom's not arriving. Right there, Liam's just urging this ball along. It's stuck wide. Why not? Could well be. Looks like he's stopping fairly well. <coughs> no, and he's left it well short. That won't make anything. And Dan, Danny's got one though. He's probably fortunate to have one. Keeps him. In the contest, here comes Tom's effort. He's facing two down. If he, oh well, that would have been a a bonus for Tom, but it didn't come off. That's all but ten now to to John. He's just one chalk away from the final. Beardworth now six twelve. He's broken the broken the rut. Yes, can he uh, can he find something else now to upset Liam's uh, length? Down to his advantage now. Well, we shall see. But he certainly needs to put a bit of a break together for me to get in, back in this game. Liam will be hoping to score here to go back into another corner. Yes, that's pretty much playing to Liam's hands. If he does count here, he's certainly going to elect for the corners again for me. Danny's not put a bad ball there, probably about a yard short, if that. He's just gone around the corner, I think, for me. Let's see what <coughs> Liam does. Looks to be overreached for me, does Liam here? Yeah. He might have put one in the tub, we can't quite see. Is it hanging? Oh, it's just hung on the edge. Just clung on to the edge there. As Danny comes up with his second. Has he got a bit more in this one? It's coming round the corner now. If it stays on the green, it might win. It might be a bit too wide there, actually. And no, well, Tom's found a, a good ball there against John. You can just see. Liam looks to have found a good one, yeah, and he's found one to extend his lead 13 6. As you were just saying, it's played right into Liam's hands now. Yeah. Going back into the corners. And he could well have the green to himself in a couple of ends, as I think. John is looking to close out the other semi. Yeah. It's going to take something special now from mm. Thomas to get back into this game. Can't afford to slip up now. Oh, easy. 
and one to Tom, hanging in, 11.20. Here comes Liam, he's led out a full jack, about four, yeah, five yards from the corner, come your finger peg. Here comes his first effort. <laughs> He's, drawn one. he's nearly played one here, he's nearly played a good ball. Yeah, very good. And we've got another jack. We've got both the uh, semi finals coming up towards us. Danny's at first effort, it's going to be a couple of yards short, he won't be pleased with that. Tom leading out John. against John. And I think he's actually Jackie found ball. a snorter. Yeah, very good ball there. Very good ball. 11.20 is not dead and buried yet, but it's going to take um, some something, performance. Yeah, something special to get back into it. Yeah. Liam, looking to pair up in the second semi-final. And he has paired up. What's Pinky doing? It's just sliding underneath. Leave the it's going to leave the rink there, as James says. Giving Tom a definite chance to make a good two. Well, Danny looks slightly further, but not far enough to win. May save. He might just save. May save. May save, it? Oh, saved. what's Tom doing here? He's not left the island, has he? He has. And Tom won't be happy with that one. Because he's giving John a free shot and he at the it. end and he's after it. He knows it's near. He's given it a chance. He's just over the top for me, yeah. And another point to Tom, making it 12.20. Out finger peg into the bottom corner. Thomas's earlier interview could be correct. 21 13 to John. Yes. We're just keeping quiet now as the players are in earshot of what we're saying. As they both lead out, Liam's led a decent ball against Danny. Danny soon after it again. <coughs> Tom's led an absolute great ball on the finger peg in the other game. And Danny, for me, is just drifting through. Slide two to three yard through. Yeah. He must have a holding shot. Here's Pinky's first effort. Is he just a bit on the low side or is he short? Tobin will let us know. Are they level? <laughs> John in front, I'll be behind. Right. Some good advice there from Dedlow teammate Gary White. Yeah, good bit of advice telling him just how the land lies. Figured uh, once again, cantering after his ball. Is he? Has he a chance with this? He's just on the outside for me. He probably saved one. Yeah, just one to Liam there. 15 6 now, that game. 15 6 to Griff. <laughs> Very confident now that he can see out this game. And Tom's holding one, so John's got a decision here. Can clearly see the end. What he's got to do. For me, he's looking to punch the ball out clean through the gap. Yeah, he's played with a little bit of weight. And, and he's me. not a million miles away. He's very close. Oh, and he's disturbed the end, but not quite enough, and it's one to Tom. 13. So 13.20, he's plugging his way back into it. We'll just nip back to the other game. And Liam has led out about four foot short Probably the worst in the corner. In this corner he's had all day, it's not his greatest lead. And we'll have to beat this to have any chance of getting back in this game. And Danny needs the block here. He's just run through a couple of yards. Gone out! Four foot! Danny is struggling with his length yeah. slightly. Green's just dropping a yard now, so he's reached up there as Dan, but he's, he's overreached. And he's gone a couple of yards through. Liam's improved with his first, and he's played a decent ball there just on the length as Danny comes up with his second. He's not getting after it initially. Does that mean he doesn't think it's a chance? Well, well, he needs a connection. He needs a rub 
Oh, unlucky again. And that's probably a couple to lay them again, yeah. And back to the other game. Not really a good good end, this one. 17-6. Both players led a yard, a yard and a half short. Tom needs a clear run with his second ball here to find something decent. <coughs> yeah, it's not a bad ball, is that? If it stays on the rink, yeah, it's, it's a good ball. Hanging in there is Tom. Seventeen six. It's wobbling a bit. It's just another one to Tom. Fourteen twenty. He will. There was a bit of room there. Hmm. Yeah, and we've got it on camera. Tom leads out. Fourteen twenty. Is it? <laughs> is this an iPad? This is an iPad, yeah. Oh. I've got a telephone. Have I've you? got a mobile phone. Do you, can you <laughs> ring people on it? <laughs> <laughs> We're hoping to get that, though. I've just gone home to put something in the oven. Back so to the I'm final. Not, we're hoping to get that for the final. Right, OK. Yeah. okay See I'll you later. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the uh, comments there from one of the spectators. Marjorie. Just putting the Sunday lunch on and bobbing back for the final. She has got a phone, I'll clarify that, she has got a phone. <laughs> yes, and she knows how to use it. Well, Tom's a slightly erratic lead. John looks like he's, yeah, definitely punished in it. It stayed on, as John commanded it to. Should the fist by John, I think he can. Yes, I think he's seconds away from reaching the final. Tom's on the road, but he's he's very pacey with this for me. He needs, he needs, a he needs to prop it. He's gone underneath, and John, yeah, John's through to the final. Good performance from Mr. Pinky there. Ah, now we can concentrate fully on the uh, the beards with Griffin, Sammy. Yeah, can we? Uh, Good game, boys. Can we have a, a quick word? Just predicted. As predicted, yeah, yeah. But one-way traffic from Pinky there. Have you got any words on on that game, John? <laughs> I'm chuffed a bit. Chuffed a bit. <laughs> Relieved man to get to the semi. Oh, to, to the final. Fine, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Very, very. Yeah. Yeah. Two, two big balls. I can only remember Counted one. Two. Definitely one over here where you punched him out and made two. Lost a stroke. And you've somehow. And I got what I wanted. I wanted his out clean. Yeah. Touch of fortune to with the a, second. Make a pair yeah. off it. Yeah. Know, ramble into his back ball as well and leave a pair like that. Out of the other semi, who would you rather face? Or have you not got a. I've got to say, I'd love to play Griff. Oh. Well, he's well in front at the moment, <laughs> we think. 17 8 up. 17 8. I don't know what result I'm being like. Probably going to see a bit of a corner fest if it's you and Griff then away, John, or? No. Would you adopt a bit of a different tactic? Oh, I've got a plan. Oh. I've got a plan. <laughs> well, viewers, let's leave. I've got a plan. Let's got, leave it there. <laughs> let's leave it there for now and let's see what John comes up with in the final. Good luck, mate. We'll play. <laughs> see you on. See you on. Well, Liam, delayed two down the last end. Comes back in with a single to go 18 8 in front. Nearly home and dry. Nearly home and dry. What we've got to now, James? It's now 18 8. 18 8. Yeah. Game 18, 8. all but over. Hello, David. <laughs> hey, up, Andy. I'm out of the day. Day. Oh. Uh, What's that saying? Work, rest, keeps and play. That's it. Oh, it keeps the doctor away. Is that an apple? Send you to the dentist. <laughs> now then. Mr. Yes. He even, he even knows it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Liam's got a convincing lead now. It'll be unusual if he lets this slip at this stage. Whenever he gets a chance, Liam, he goes right in. He does. And he's not let us down again there. 
that eh? Something very, very special now to yeah. to progress to the final. You could still commentate. They have been literally all <laughs> Apparently Debbie's so looking forward to catching up with all this footage. Fisher. Yeah. Well we're not doing out tonight, can watch out. <laughs> Once again, it's been very early news with the uh, Becky for the final. Let's have a quick uh, update with uh, the bookmaker. And he's got odds of four to six, five to four, just favouring Pinky at the moment. There is still a semi final on the green. Just get back to that. As I said, it's very unusual at this stage if Liam did not let this one slip. I think but Liam's. Ball is counting yet. Yeah. 19! 19, so he's just two charts away from the final. It's looking like John Edmondson and Liam Griffin in the first Pudsey Champions final 2012. A couple of the spectators drifted away, but one or two hardy souls have stayed on. Nice to see. I see David Lawrence up there on the stage. David watching. Lawrence is uh, keeping a good eye on proceedings, being a, a competitor today. Mm -hmm. Qualified by winning the Stan David Triples. Yes. New venture we've had this mm -hmm. year, the Triples. Made his way through to the final by turning up. <laughs> Got a good pairing with uh, James and Jimmy. And Jimmy. No, Jimmy and John. <laughs> John. <laughs> Yeah, I think um, it was a good night. Was it a good night? Yeah. Was David it? played a few wild bowls. Well, wow. it was kind of expected. And how did you sort the batting order out with well, uh, we'll a player let, like David in your team? We we'll just let David go in the middle and um, just kind of like do what he wanted to do. Yeah. And yeah. Usually John led, and me come up the you, rear. You mopped up the uh, yeah. proceedings. Yeah. Very rare we counted more than four right. on one end. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's short, yeah. But nevertheless, he was part of the dream team. Yes. He enjoyed himself today. Yes, he's, he's got him through to the finals. He'll be happy with that. He'll sleep tonight. I will. <laughs> Liam, this is, this is unheard of Liam. To Liam's actually trotting after one. He must be getting a bit excited. And for me, he's played one. Yeah. He's played an absolute superb ball. Man. He's played a great ball on a difficult mark there. Yeah. Is he holding a pair? Danny, Danny's asking how near it is. Might be Here comes the hammer. Producing a strike. Yeah. He is, he's after it. Here it comes. No, he's missed on this occasion. Another one to Liam. Takes us gone to all but all but Liam. Twenty-eight. Liam needs another point. I think when Daniel's on with his striking he's um, almost unbeatable. Yes. Yes. Today, slight off day. With the hammer? Yes, not not having his best day in, in the striking, but he'll have other days. He's had a good run today, made it to the semis. At least he can still smile about it. Yes. George. <laughs> you going, sheep? No, no, same for final. Yeah, very good. Good luck. If I leave that there, I'll forget about it. <laughs> It's great flex. The um, spectators on YouTube later on. Yeah. I am. Yeah. I am. I think when I put this down my arms, I'll just stay here. <laughs> <laughs> Danny doesn't like it. No, nope. like just it. kicked his cloth. He's given up hope on that one. Liam's led about a foot, two foot of the side of the block. And that should be enough to book his place in the final. Let's see what he does with his second ball. Yeah, Danny, for me, he's given up hope in this. <laughs> As he's, um, uh, it's never over that. It's never over. Famous saying for Andrew. Well, I think he might hit these. 
Yeah. Yeah, he's had a, a strike. And, and he's still looking. He's still looking. Oh, <laughs> that's another unlucky yeah. strike there from Danny. Just wasn't to be. He's still having a look, but I think it missed. Score ends. Score ends. Yeah, 21 8 to uh, Liam Griffin. So the final, Liam Griffin against John Edmondson, will commence in a few minutes.